All right, YouTube, what is going on? It is Conflict Nerd Calm here today, bringing you another episode of my Airline Tycoon Let's Play. So we're starting off here Friday morning at 9am with 117,000 passengers travelled, images 64%, personnel 86%, and planes at 99%. Overall, doing absolutely amazing compared to the other airlines. So my tactics are executing really well and I'm really glad to see how everything is doing. So that's just got a brand new gate which is good. So that's just now got four gates I believe but I want to go ahead and get another gate on top of that because we're about to buy our, what is it, it's going to be our seventh plane? No our sixth plane but our fifth plane operating out of this airport. So let's go ahead and apply for this here. So I'd like to apply for an expansion to the airport as we don't have enough room. You just extended the airport. So we can't do that yet. So that is really, really frustrating and that annoys me. But I guess we should be able to deal with it. Right now, as you can see, actually all gates, they're not actually in action at all. So we might be able to get around this now we've got four gates anyway. So let's go ahead and jump back into the office and just see how everything is doing. So the new Transatlantic 3 is bringing in like 400,000 consistently, which is great to see. I'm extremely happy about that. And there's not as many gate collisions as there was previously. I think I know our tactic to actually get around these gate clashes, so it should be fine going forward. So what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and jump back down to the bank and see if the financial situation has changed with the other airlines. We're extremely financially secure, but I don't know about the other airlines really at all. So first of all, looking at the bank accounts, we've got the most money and we're gaining like, what, 3-4 million a day. We're gaining a ridiculous amount. It looks like the Phoenix Travel Shares and the Sunshine Airlines, their share prices are going up. It looks like we need to go ahead and buy into more of Sunshine Airways shares because they keep just getting away from us. We still own 100% of our airline and that's not going to change anytime soon. So let's go ahead and buy some stock. And let's go ahead and in Sunshine Airlines, let's go ahead and change this amount to 20%, which is over the amount I can buy. But that's 9% there for 2 million, which I'll happily go ahead and take. So that's us back up to now a 29% share in both of the airlines. So with that done, I want to go ahead and see... What does this end of the airport look like? It's just a longer a longer balcony now that there's extra gates in here. Because I was wondering how the airport would actually act if it got expanded. That end is the more confusing end. If we come all the way along this end, then we can see that uh, it's quite easy to expand. But we've now got four departure gates as well under our belt. So what we need to do is first of all go ahead and go via the security office now. Because that is a thing that there was a sabotage incident last episode near the end and it was something which I didn't really overly like and it landed up closing down the security so my security might have been removed totally which it has so we need to go ahead and reapply all the security back onto all of our gates that's costing 660,000 per day but at the same time we are making like what 4 million a day I don't even know it's that much money per day now so we can go ahead and definitely afford that Anyway, let's skip forward another two or so days. We didn't actually make that much money overnight, which was kind of worrying. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump back into here. So we're at 23.5 million. We then go up to 26 million. So to be honest, we only made about, what, 2 million, 2.7 million there actually, which is kind of disappointing, but our image is still shooting up, which is great. And I believe the image should probably be about 100% for all of our flights now. It looks like it gets stuck at 99%, but well, the Berlin Paris is at 100%. And what about the Berlin London? You're at 100%. So the New York London is also at, what's well, at 99%, which is good enough. The route capacity is up to 26%, which is good, but again, there's still room for expansion, which is something that I definitely want to do. So we're not quite there yet, but we are going to go ahead and probably buy a new plane, maybe in about five minutes time after we've simulated maybe a few more days in game. But what I want to do is go ahead and start looking for pilots straight away. We're going to need three pilots for this new plane. So I'm just having a look here and there's some interesting applications but there's none too exciting actually. The first one was probably the best one and it is a 
very highly gifted, so I'll go ahead and take you. I'm looking for anyone who's moderately talented, gifted, very highly gifted, I'll take you as well. Very highly gifted, I'll take you too. Very talented, that's a good shout, I think I'll take you as well. So I think we've got plenty of pilots to be honest, I'm just going ahead and skimming through and seeing, but for the time being I think that looks good. We'll maybe take you as well. So far he's not made it very far and wants us, you know what, we'll just employ you, that's no worries. Then let's go ahead and I probably need some more flight attendants as well. And what about an advisor? I really need an oil advisor, but there's none unfortunately applying for jobs right now. So what about flight attendants? I need quite a few more of yous. So let's go ahead and see John, you're moderately talented. We could take you. Very highly gifted, I think we'll take you. Above average, it's not good enough. Moderately talented is not good enough. Very talented is good enough though. Gifted and talented. You know what? I'll take you both to be honest. That's an extra four flight attendants. So I don't know if that's enough for our new plane coming in tomorrow or in the next few days, but I hope it will be. If not, we can easily jump back next door and see. So one thing I want to do is actually go ahead and check our competitors and see how they're doing. Now we have a informer, we can go ahead and get this information. So as we can see right now, it looks like money in millions. This is basically how much everyone has in their bank account. So as we can see, I have 26.5 million. The other airlines do actually have quite a bit. The other airlines' debts, they don't have any debt, which is interesting. Now this is very interesting image, as we can see both of the other airlines images are negative. They do have a lot of planes as well, some China Airlines has a lot of planes but I don't know what happens with the planes, like the planes, are they just sitting on the ground doing nothing? I don't really understand that. We've actually got the least amount of planes out of all the airlines which is interesting. Like when I took over Honey Airlines, they had what an extra four planes, so they had four planes so I inherited four planes and it was very strange because like the planes were doing nothing. I went in and I checked, unless the game like cancels all the flights that those planes are about to fly, but I don't think it would do that. It's like they had no, nothing to do. They were all just on the ground. So that is very strange. Again, going back to this game, it was built in what, 1998. So the AI might have not been as good, I guess you could say. It's not technically proper AI, but it sort of simulates to be like AI, but that's a topic for another video. So going ahead, routes here. So we've got, we've got six routes. So does Phoenix Travel. Sunshine only has two, which is interesting. And finally, branches. We have three. I don't know what three it is, to be honest, but I really don't care about branches because branches is, I feel not really that important. Anyway, let's go ahead and come back out of this a second and income through planes. So I need a financial advisor for that. And I need, uh, what do I need for a daily balance sh sheet? I need an, I really need a financial advisor. That's badly what I need. As we can see here, use of gates, it's a bit all over the place, but we can go ahead and hopefully make that a little bit better going forward. There's only a few clashes here and there, which are a bit of a nuisance. So let's go ahead and jump out of that. We need to go ahead and check this oil stuff. What I need is a, an oil advisor because I don't really know what I'm doing with this. In saying that, we're already making enough money as it is, so there's not really much need to worry. But if we can make more money and save money on fuel, then we might as well go ahead and do that going forward. So another promotional, another promotional, nothing too exciting. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump forward probably to about Tuesday or Wednesday, just so we can go ahead and get some extra cash into the bank. So that is us up to 29 million, we then go to sleep and then we wake up with 32 million and then I think we'll do another one more day. And then that should be enough, because we need about 25 million I think to go ahead and buy this new plane. So let's arrive back in the office and before we go ahead and buy the plane, let's just go ahead and do some of the daily stuff. So that's just basic mail there which we can go ahead and ignore. Let's go down to the bank and see what's going on because if something has happened with another airline it might actually affect my purchase before we go ahead and make that purchase. So running into here, share prices, ours are at 100 which is good, Sunshine Airways are up to $85 which is a lot, Phoenix Travel is at 49 and it looks like it's about to go down again 
and Phoenix Travel I would say is probably the most likely airline to take over out of the two, that's probably the next one on my list. Unfortunately though I just need to wait for him to sell up more shares because it is starting to annoy me. What I am going to do is I'm going to start to deploy sabotage on him to I guess just weaken him a bit more. So now let's go ahead and attack Phoenix Travel. I want to do something which is going to cause him a lot. So virus in the notebook. Okay, he's got security on that laptop, so that's maybe not a good idea. What else can I do? I really need to do something which is like very, very, very powerful. So something about the planes. Again, none of those are really that exciting, so I need to do something personal. So Phoenix travel and then something special for my opponents. We'll do cut off telephones, 500,000, and he'll do that tonight. So hopefully that should weaken share prices even more, which should hopefully mean that he'll have to go ahead and sell some more of his shares which I can go ahead and acquire, that's what I'm hoping anyway. We've got security on every front so we really can't get attacked going forward which is good. Going ahead and just looking at the flight board, flight board is looking wonderful. No one's got any more shares to sell, I don't think we need to go ahead and get a new gate right now but let's go ahead and purchase our new plane. So again, I think I'm going to go for the Galaxy. If you missed the last episode, then I'd highly recommend going ahead and watching it. But that is where we bought our first Galaxy, and the Galaxy seems to be working really well. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and buy again. So let's go ahead and buy this, this Galaxy here. 345 passengers, range of 6,000. It does the transatlantic, which is what I really need it to do. So let's go ahead and buy one of those for 25 million. So that is in our hands, which is good. Let's go ahead now and return to the office and let's get that plane into the air and making us even more money. So with this again, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and assign London to New York flights onto it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename you first of all Transatlantic 4. So that will do it for the time being. So that has now been renamed. It does need an extra flight attendant though, so we need to go ahead and get one of those. And I'll also look for some more analysts as well. So first of all, advisors, when you have one application, can it be a, no, order, I don't really need an order one. I need a fuel analyst. So we can get rid of you, I don't really want you to be honest, like I'm not even doing orders anymore, so there's just no point. What about flight attendants though? We have nine applications, I just need one out of this list. So go ahead and a gifted, nope, above average, talented, I think you're probably the best, so a passionate glider pilot who got a job as a flight attendant thanks to connections. Now he wants to improve. Am I in the right section here? Was that flight attendants or was that pilots? We'll go ahead, we'll just take an extra one to be honest, we might as well. Um, so looking here, gifted, yeah no I think we did hire the right person. So we'll just go ahead and hire one extra person because why not, we've got the money these days. So with that we now can get the transatlantic 4 into the air, so guess what you're going to be doing, you're going to be flying to New York. However one thing I need to do is go ahead and actually format this properly and this is how we're going to get around the gate issues. So from Friday morning, oh what is going on here, so, okay this is my informer, so he just, Phoenix Travel bought a used plane which is interesting, that's not really too much interest to me to be honest, I just need to find out when he's selling shares. Oh he issued new stock, that is literally what I need, so we're off to the bank very very quickly. Thank you very very much to my informer and that's a great reason why I should have him. So we're going to run straight to the bank, hopefully Sunshine Airways is not going in there, she did walk past. But we're going to stroll in nice and quietly, so. Oh no, the annoying thing is he's not selling any more of his shares, he's just issuing more stock. Which is just so 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 frustrating, I need more control. So we're going to have to spend quite a bit of money actually here going ahead and... What are my shareholder rights? I don't have 50% control on anything, so... I can't really do much at all to be honest, so let's go ahead and buy some more stocks, let's go ahead and buy all these Phoenix Travel ones, it's going to cost me quite a bit of money actually, quite a lot of money which I never realised it would, it's going to cost me 4 million but we'll make that back in a day. 
So there we go, that is us back at 29%. He just needs to sell more stock, he really does, but he just won't, I don't know why. So I'm going to do some reading probably in between this and next episode and see if there's any way to go ahead and get him to sell stock. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a factory reset on all the transatlantic flights, I guess, from Saturday morning. So transatlantic one's going to take off from midnight and they're going to take off in hourly gaps, I guess you could say, or like two hours. So it looks like right now a single flight takes... So it takes 9 hours to fly, so if we just have these continuously flying back to back, then we should be able to avoid any collisions really. So let's go ahead and do that. So for Transatlantic 1, they're going to take off from midnight on Saturday. Or I guess like... And I always get that confused as well. Is it like midnight or is it like... It is midnight, but is that AM or PM? That's the most confusing thing. I believe it is 12 AM. Or maybe is it PM? I don't know, it's so strange. That's one thing I always get confused about. Anyway, so that's going to take off from Saturday at midnight. So the next, the Transatlantic 2, to get rid of any confusion, you're going to take off at Saturday from 2 a.m. in the morning. That is 2 a.m. in the morning. One, two hours in, yep. So that's what you're going to do going forwards. Then the Transatlantic 3, you're going to take off from 4 a.m. in the morning on Saturday. So that's 1, 2 hours in, then 3, 4. So I believe that should be 4 a.m. right there. Though I did just muck that up big time. So let's go ahead and cut this back. I just moved you flights around the wrong way, didn't I? Let's go ahead and do that so there and then that there. So that should be 1, 2, 3... That is 4 a.m. in the morning, which is good. So we can go ahead and sort this other issue out here by going ahead and adding in another London to New York. If you could just move along nicely, that would be great. Not quite. There we go, that would work. And then finally go ahead and add in another New York to London in there. Still doesn't work out for me, so I'm going to have to add another one in there and then another one in there. And that doesn't work. What is going on here? Add you in there and that works out fine. Long last. Right, okay, so you're going to go New York to London in there. And then finally what we're going to do is Transatlantic 4 is going to take off from 6am in the morning. And then that should avoid all confusion. So you're going to be 6am on Saturday morning. I'm going to get you flying before then, but up until then I guess you'll have to just do random patterns, the world and be no pattern until Saturday morning. So from then on, it's going to be pretty straightforward, to be honest. Again, it's just going to be flying back and forth, and hopefully I should again continue to bring in, it should roughly bring in about 300, 400,000 per flight, probably about 400,000. One thing we do need to do with the 5 million we have, I'll maybe wait till tomorrow, but we need to start to upgrade this plane pretty pronto just so it gets all up to three stars and it is the same as the other galaxy and the other transatlantic planes. Anyway, so that'll do for now. We'll get another one in tonight here and as long as we don't affect the schedule from Saturday morning onwards, then we can put in as many as possible. So we can probably go ahead and put another one in there so you won't fly on Friday night, but you will fly it from Saturday morning, which works out totally fine. So that is that ready to go and I think that should be all of the scheduling issues sorted. If we go ahead and look at the gate thing, then at one point there is four planes on Saturday using the same thing, but hopefully that won't continue going forward. Hopefully there should only be a maximum of about three. Anyway, let's go ahead and call it a day there. There should be no collisions anyway, uh, or gate clashes, not collisions, but gate clashes. There shouldn't be any of them going forward. Anyway, so let's go ahead and transatlantic 4 we're looking for. So, first thing is we need to do is go ahead and change the ratio to 9 to 1 like we've been doing. Then we need to go ahead and upgrade all of you to 3 stars straight away. And that looks good there. So with that done, I think we'll just skip forward again one more day. So that did take a bit of money out of our bank account, but we're back at 8 million. Both of those other airlines are still taking heaps out of each other, still sabotaging each other. We are not really in that game too much on the occasion, we will do a sabotage, but I'm mainly focused on making the money right now, if you cannot tell. So we do have a letter, I wonder if this is of any interest, I guarantee it'll be a promotional thing. 
and it is from Sunshine. That one there is from Phoenix as well, so nothing too exciting. Let's go ahead and see how our new Transatlantic 4 is doing. It's already off to a great start, as you can see, 400,000s there all round, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and see actually how the, so the root capacity is up to 32%, however there's still a long way to go to get it to 100%. All the other routes though are doing fine, it's good to see that. Their root capacity isn't really growing because they could do with an extra plane, so it's a possibility I might go ahead and acquire maybe a few more smaller planes going forwards, like having a London to Berlin and a Berlin to Paris too, so they have duplicates of those flights as well as having these transatlantics. For the time being, I'm not really interested in going ahead and acquiring another route. I'd rather go ahead and get the current routes that I'm working on up to pretty much 100% capacity. That's what I want to get to. So let's go ahead and just sort the rest of the schedule out here, like so. So all that looks good, and there should be no more collisions going forward. There should just be pretty much full catalogs. So there seems to be a bit of an issue here though, so I need to add in another London to New York about there. Or more like there. See this is really awkward and it is the most frustrating thing ever. It's like a one hour overlap, I just need it to fit in there. But it won't. And even if I do this here, oh there we go, that works fine. So we'll go ahead and add in another New York to London there and then we need a... What am I doing? What is going on here? So that works like that, so this will now solve the issue that I was having. So New York to London goes like that. So got my head around it eventually, and then the transatlantic one. We might not actually gain too much money today, unfortunately. That's just the way the cookie might crumble, but I think everything should be good going forward. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump down to the bank. We've not got any messages from our informer, but we have skipped a few days, so things might have changed. They're like skulls there, and then they're also not happy at each other, so it's interesting to see. I still have the same share I pretty much had in the other airlines, I guess, that I had a few days ago, so we don't really need to go ahead and concern ourselves about anything else. Let's just check the flight boards. And it is pretty much just all of us in action today. Again, I want to see how many planes they have and how many routes they have. It looks like planes, Sunshine Airlines is up to 10 planes, but I don't honestly know what she's doing with it. We as an airline are coming up to 1,000 flights, which is really interesting actually. We're coming up to 150,000 passengers. There's another security blackout, so I'll need to go ahead and reapply security tomorrow. But what we're going to do is we're just going to skip forward a few more days as well and make sure that everything continues as normal. So let's call it a day there and let's skip forward and we gained what 2.5 million overnight. Before we skip forward another day let's go ahead and up that security again just to make sure that everything is continuing to be monitored. So let's go ahead and I want security, absolutely everything. So we're having to pay for time 6 on the aircraft inside and out and that's quite a lot per day actually, but I mean we're gaining so much money that it's really not too much of a problem. I do moan half the time, but then at the same time I'm just like, actually no, there's no need to moan because we're making plenty of money. Anyway, so we'll go and call it a day there. So I mean, for this guy, work days are absolutely easy, aren't they? Um, so we go to bed though with 12.5 million, and then we go up to... Near enough 17.5 million, so we nearly made 5 million dollars overnight, that is crazy. One thing I would love is a financial advisor, so get me an advisor, please, I need a financial advisor. So advisor, I'm looking for one application, see if you're in orders. Financial advisor, hallelujah! Right, that's wonderful, I'm never going to do that again by the way, I have no idea why I did that. Uh, what about, uh, I, again, I need, a, I need a fuel guy. That's the only literal thing I need, and then we'll be good. So we'll call it a day. So we're at 17.4 million, and then we wake up with 21 million. But now we have a financial advisor. We should be able to find out how we're actually doing. So if we go into here, and it is, if we go back one, and then it is daily balance sheets. As you can see, we are... Hold up, hold up, hold up. So this is confusing me. So tickets, that's the amount of tickets. Interest at 1%, stock dividends, orders, balance. So 
you're saying we made 8 million. We might have made 8 million actually, that does probably sound about right, but the problem is we obviously have got to take off all our expenditures as well, which is quite a lot. Um, the report shows which planes are making profit and which aren't between the routes. So as you can see, this is income through planes, so all our planes are doing absolutely wonderful and our galaxies are doing the, the best. Those are the Transatlantic 3 and Transatlantic 4. So with all that done, what we are going to do is we literally just need to now wait. It's a waiting game and waiting to see if either, I guess, Phoenix or Sunshine Airlines sell up any more stock because we are going ahead and grabbing as much stock as we possibly can. It does unfortunately look like, though, that Sunshine Airlines has a bit of Phoenix Travel stock, which I don't like, because that should have been mine. But, at the same time, if we go ahead and run back down to the bank very quickly, then the tides are starting to turn, actually. Tides are, and it looks like it is going to be a head-to-head -head battle with me and Sunshine Airlines. So, as we can see, yeah, so that, I mean, she has, like, 1% of... Uh, Phoenix travel, so it's not that much overall, so it's not really much to worry about. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to wrap this episode up here, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like, rating, subscribe if you are new around here, the usual. I always say that at the end of a video. But in the next episode, I'm going to go ahead and buy probably three new planes. I want to go ahead and buy a... What is going on here? Why is everyone gathered around me? Everyone's just stopped, which is very strange. Very, very strange. What I'm going to do though is I want to buy three planes. I want to buy a one new transatlantic one, but I also want to buy two new European ones. One to help out with the London to Berlin and one to help out with the Berlin to Paris routes going forward. So anyway, that is all for this video. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Conflict Nerd Callum and I'm out.